Hey everyone, Carl Brown here, and today's lesson is going to talk about uh, some beginner slides in the left hand. Um, now, we have there's a couple of different things when we want to talk about uh, that we have to concentrate when we're talking about slides. Probably the most important thing you need to think about is what's going on back behind the neck with the thumb. Um, it is can either make or break your ability to really slide. A lot of people, um, even more advanced players, they move their thumb too much when they slide, when they don't really have to. You should think of it as a rule like this. If you don't have to move your thumb when you're sliding, don't, because it forms a really stable foundation um, to your, to your, and a lot of control over the notes where, where a lot of players will just jump, their thumb will jump around right with their index finger, or whatever finger they're doing. So let's, uh, let me explain this. We're going to use just the 5th fret and the 7th fret on every string. Just 5-7. Alright, we're just going to use, we're going to slide back and forth between those two um, frets. We're going to start with the 1st finger. Now, if you take a look at my thumb, I'm going to try to keep it relatively high at first, just so you can see that it's not moving. Alright, you can, if your standard way of putting your thumb is in the middle of the neck, that's fine. Um, it, sh it should be doing the same thing here. What I'm saying, I want you to see is how still I keep the thumb. I got my thumb at about the fifth fret and where my index finger is. And I'm going to pick the index finger. And the index finger is going to be nice and arced onto the string right up against the fret. And I'm going to slide up to the seventh fret right up against that fret. Keep making sure my finger doesn't collapse. Just get your finger a stable arc in your finger and then. Now you notice my thumb didn't have to move at all. It didn't, it didn't shift up. It didn't, you know, jump with it. Because if I did, that creates a very unstable thing. If you can stay still, do it. And then you pick that note and slide back down. Just the exact opposite. Sliding down, especially with chords, is a little bit more awkward because you're really, the weight's going away from your body and it's a little bit um, more, a stranger, um, kind of weight distribution in your hand. Let's do the same thing now on the second string. So if you've never done slides, I would recommend just doing this on every string. Find a good place for that thumb that you feel comfortable with. Just do it a few times on each string. Then we're going to switch and we're going to use the second finger. Now the first finger, the thumb is now going to come back a little bit, kind of where the index finger is resting. His thumb still stays even kind of with the index finger, but still when you do your your slide, you're kind of shifting up. Yeah, I mean you're kind of just moving up, up your, <coughs> excuse me, uh, the second finger without with still keeping the thumb still. <coughs> Same thing on the second string. Yeah, my thumb's kind of behind the, the second finger. Now, if you feel like that it's a little bit too far back, just bring it up a little bit to where it's comfortable for you, to where, just where you don't have to move around. I'm going to move back even more now because I want to keep even with my third, my uh, my my index finger, but my third finger is going to be doing the slide. thumb there it's not moving and then once again you do it with the pinky now the pinky you might want to set up a little bit with your fingers closer together like this so you can really get a good now don't be afraid to have the other fingers if this is the only finger that's you want to slide like if it's especially if it's a slide you want to put some vibrato on you would basically just uh, put the same fingers on the string and just kind of move, slide them all up together they kind of create one big finger that has, you know, basically a more control over the string. Now let's talk about some chords. After you've done these practice these single notes and try to keep the thumb relatively still, uh, and maybe different areas of the neck as well, uh, we could talk about sliding uh, chords. We're going to start with these power chords here. Now, uh, power chords are by far the most probably used chords in popular rock and metal, and um, and they 
the the fact that they are they were they stay the shape stays the same when you move it around the neck makes it a good thing to practice especially when you're practicing sliding chords because you don't have to concentrate on playing new fingerings you keep the same fingering keep the shape same shape and you can practice not having the shape just kind of get uh, messed up as you're moving around I'm going to kind of change to the so a different view here so you can see the back of the guitar neck here now when I'm doing this I have a basic power chord shape which you should know that's in the front and then I'm gonna I just want to show you what's happening when we take those three notes of the power chord and I pick them and I slide them so let's do the same thing we'll slide from five to seven so I'm gonna pick the the I get the power chord with my first finger on the sixth string third finger on the uh, fifth string and then pinky on the fourth string and that first finger we're gonna be starting at the fifth fret here you pick those three strings and when I move up, you saw how my, my thumb lifted a little bit, just barely. And then when I pick it to come back down, I'm going to just lift, slide, and then come back down when I get back down to the fifth fret. It's just something so you can see what I mean it's a very slight lift you don't have to come way out here with your thumb just keep it very very slight some players actually kind of still keep their thumb kind of grazing the the, uh, the neck now that's not bad all the time uh, you can actually uh, if you don't have a neck that has a lot of gloss on the back of it you can get away with it because a lot of the necks are very fast and very smooth and you can go up and down and, and just you would still release pressure and tension in the thumb but so you're not dragging everything up and down across but it will still keep everything nice and uh, uh, and smooth um, some players actually put like baby powder I know John Pertucci does that or he used to do that on his Ibanez guitars he put some baby powder back here and it just really slickened up the surface so that's what's going on in the thumb back there and in the fingers we basically have a um, just a, a, we play and you want to try to keep this all the, when we change the shape you want to keep everything as together as possible now unlike when we changed course before we have to keep the tension down here so it makes it a little bit more awkward because if we release the tension the sound goes away all right so to keep the sound down you have to keep the tension and just for the split second there your fingers are pushing against the neck when you don't have any support in the thumb and that's what makes it a little bit awkward not only for these chords but when you're doing you're jumping way up like in a, just a single note slide so if I went from the fifth fret to the twelfth obviously I have to move my thumb now but look at my thumb at the top see I just picked up so it had to be off the string and some people can glide it see I was gliding up the fretboard instead of jumping Find what feels comfortable to you. You may not like to completely let go of the back of the neck. You may think it's better just to barely come off the neck and then jump up and, and quickly recover. Whatever feels the most comfortable to you, there's not really a right or wrong way. As long as you're not gripping hard, when it's very, very lightly grazing it, and you don't have a neck that has a finish that's stopping you uh, or kind of resisting you, well, I say by all means, if that's comfortable to you, use it. All right, so um, hopefully this will help you help you out in a little bit. And it's another lead guitar technique that we that's used a lot. And uh, please go to guitarlessons365.com and support the site. And let me know what other basic techniques you would like to see. All right, I appreciate it. Bye bye.